you are saying as far as you are concerned, the only loss was 13.8 million, and this is recoverable from the respective officers. Yes, that's what I'm saying. This is the amount Education Minister Professor Sam Ongeri and Permanent Secretary James Oleki Yapi say she'll be recovered from about 20 officials of the ministry who are already in court. The only money that was lost according to them as they appeared before Parliament's Public Accounts Committee. But it's not the only new twist to the Education Fund scandal. Now, the Ministry of Education is questioning Treasury's plans to refund over 2 billion shillings to the World Bank and other development partners. They say the donor's request to be refunded is impractical since no money was lost. According to their records, the only anomaly is that the Education Ministry failed to meet the deadline to submit records to facilitate an audit into the spending of the funds in the years 2008 and 2009. The main reason given by the development partners in their demand to the government to expire the refund was that it took too long to validate the report and it was likely to affect funding of the ongoing and future projects. I asked the question, are we refunding the money because we lost the money or the Kenya government is refunding the money because we have failed to meet the eligibility criteria or we are responding, the, we are Re uh, refunding the money for some other reason. It took us about one hour of arguments and in the end of all, I was overruled. And once again, the finance ministry is under the spotlight with efforts to get a response proving futile. What is this incredible hurry in wanting to conclude a matter so quickly? Somebody must pay for this. So this is the point that uh, the Kenya government has now adopted, it seems, a policy of um, pacifying external audiences while ignoring the fundamental rot within, which it must deal with. Otherwise, it will not be credible. So far, over 63.9 million shillings has been reimbursed. Treasury Permanent Secretary Joseph Kinyua was unavailable for comment. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen Weekend.